Hey guys, Sam from Manfa's Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. So just to pre-warn you, pretty much every video that you will see of me this week, I will be dressed the same because yes, I am batch filming for you guys again. All of this week's videos, apart from Thursday and Friday, possibly Saturday, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will be dressed in the same outfit, but that's okay. It's the way I get content out to you, right? But you're not here to listen to that. You are here for April's edition of hashtag stash down 2024 statistics. Now, if you are new here, you may not know what hashtag stash down 2024 is. This is a concept that has been um, developed and um, is the brainchild of my beautiful Yarny sis, Queen's Crafts by Bridget. If you are not familiar, you better get yourself familiar because you can jump on board and join in at any point. Now, she had the fabulous idea that although we all love purchasing yarn and having those beautiful yarn hauls, we also, most of us, have built up quite a substantial stash. That also means that we have quite a lot of yarn that needs turning into beautiful, pretty things. So she is not saying, do not buy more yarn, only use your stash, because realistically, that is not going to happen for the majority of us. What she is saying is for Stash Down 2024, if you create beautiful things um, with craft supplies and yarn and things that were bought pre-2024, you can enter those statistics into this little um, segment that she does. There are no prizes. There is nothing other than the pride of holding yourself accountable for using up your stash. So anything that was bought previous to 2024, as soon as it is turned into a beautiful project, you can put it on your list to count towards your stash down. Now, several people are doing this in different ways. Some people are collecting yarn bands. Some people are measuring yardage. Me, I am doing it by weight because I do a lot of amigurumi and smaller items where I don't actually use a full skein sometimes. Therefore, I have no way of knowing exactly how much yarn I am using and I am not going to be measuring my yarn yard for yard. That is just not something I want to do. So instead, once the item I have made is completed, I weigh it on my scales and I put it down in weight form. Now, I have had some pretty impressive months leading up to this point. However, spoiler, April isn't going to be that great. Although I did think to myself, well, at the end of April, we are already a third of the way through of 2024. So I have also given or added up the total of what I have used entirely for the first third of 2024 excuse me little hiccup i do apologize so yes that is what i'm doing as soon as an item is completed i am getting it on the scales i am writing down its weight and then i add up those weight totals at the end of the month to produce this video for you now i will put the playlist of my previous stash down videos down below please do feel free to go back and check it out everybody that is joining in is loving it because it breathes new life into some things that you have had in your stash a little while you are actually using those yards i mean you love them enough to buy them in the first place but it is very easy for them to get a little bit lost and forgotten or buried under even more beautiful yarn so you actually have a genuine excuse to go diving into your stash and seeing what forgotten treasures you have to make some beautiful, beautiful things. It also means that you are dwindling your stash down. But if you're like me, you are not dwindling that stash down as quick as you are buying and adding to it. But that is okay. 
that is okay because what I am finding about this personally is it is incredible how much yarn you can actually get through especially when you are noting it down because before I did this I was just making my stuff and keeping the armbands and doing a yarn band total at the end of the year which I will be doing this year as well guys but it suddenly dawned on me that all of the other little bits and pieces that didn't take a full skein or a full cake meant weren't being added up because you just put the scrap in your scrap bin right or you put the rest of the skein back on the shelf until you use it in something else so this way it literally does document every single little bit of yarn that you have used for the whole year and i love it so bridget if you are watching thank you so much for coming up with this idea i love seeing my figures totaling up at the end of the month i am excited to see how much i can use up in the year in its entirety um like i said no prizes nothing like that guys just the satisfaction of knowing that you are indeed using up your stash now there are plenty of other people joining in as well but by using the hashtag stash down 2024 and i think bridget is also compiling everyone's videos into a playlist over on her channel as well so you can find that over there guys bridget is my yarny sis one of my best friends and I love her oh so much. So like I said, please do go and check her out. Give her some yarny love and boost her numbers and watch hours. Because, you know, she could come up with even more amazing ideas like this. Just say it and you want to be a part of it because it is super duper fun. So shall we get into my statistics already? You're probably yelling at the screen saying, just get on with it, Mantha. Okay, so for April... I have five finished objects which I have included in my totals and only two of them you have seen. You have not seen three of them. However, by the end of this week, you will have seen all of them. Um, so I'm going to have to be careful about how I list these and give you the weights because I don't want to spoil any surprises for the videos coming out later this week. So yes, five finishes, only two of which you have seen. So you may have seen the special item that I made for Christina. Christina was banned from watching those videos if she didn't want to spoil her surprise. So I'm not going to mention what it is here either. But that was a total of 96 grams. The next thing you will have seen is the Tunisian slanted stitch washcloth that I completed earlier this month and that weighed in at 19 grams. And don't panic guys across the pond, I know you don't use grams, I'm going to do it in grams and then at the end I'll give you the ounce equivalent, okay? Then there are three other items that you have not yet seen. But I will let you know that it is mostly amigurumi this month. I'm not going to lie. And those three items, because I don't want to give away what they are, in total weighed 258 grams. So my grand total for April is 373 grams or 13.15 ounces. Now, in comparison, in comparison to previous months, that is really, really meagre. I mean, last month was crazy. I got like over 3,000 grams, which is what, over 108 ounces. That was only because I finally finished that big blanket that I was working on. The month before that, I got 1,200 grams and 42 ounces. And then January, I got 833 grams or 29.3 ounces. So this is my smallest month to date at only 373 grams or 13.15 ounces. However, I am not going to give myself a bad time about that, guys, because as you know, my life has been extremely busy since I have started my new job and my crochet time is super limited. I have lots of whips on my hooks but I don't get that many finishes anymore. So 
I have to wait for the project to finish before I can include it in Stashdown. And so therefore some months there won't be as much as others, but when some of the bigger projects get completed, that will bump that month's um, totals up. So, you know, it's a little bit swings and roundabouts. You're gonna have a good month, you're gonna have a slightly not so good month. But overall, if we are gonna do this for the whole year, it all counts, it all adds up. And that is still another 13 ounces out of my stash. And I couldn't be happier because at least it's turned into beautiful things and it's not still sat in totes or on my shelf being unloved, right? So then I said that I totaled up for the first third of the year. Now, this is a pretty impressive figure. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm not bragging or showing off. I'm just being honest about what I have managed to get out of stash so far. So there are another two thirds of the year to go. And this makes me incredibly, incredibly hopeful that by the end of the year, a massive amount of stash is going to be used. And I couldn't be happier because as soon as it gets used, I get to buy more, right? And I get more room to put new in. So for the first third of the year, I have already used 5,476 grams. Or for you guys across the pond, that is a grand total so far for the first four months of the year. 193.16 ounces i mean how incredible is that considering the average skein is about 3.5 ounces i mean that is a lot of skeins if i was gonna do that amount in 3.5 ounce balls let's just do it 193.16 divided by 3.5. I've used over 55 balls of yarn from my stash in the first four months. And that is what makes me proud. It proves that I do use the yarn that I buy. It proves that I do turn my yarn into beautiful things and that I can hold myself accountable for that yarn usage. So don't forget to head over to Bridget to see what her figures are for the month and to kind of find out who else is joining in. There are quite a few of us on these Yarny Streets and it is so awesome. So I'm gonna leave it there for today, guys. I am just super pleased with those totals and I am excited to get into May and see what May will bring. How much will I use next month? Who knows? But yeah, I appreciate your time today, guys. I am going to let you get going. Uh, please do come back tomorrow as I will be revealing the second impkin. Just saying. Um, and then at the end of this week on Saturday, we will be doing the next live vote for the next Impkin. So there is a lot of Impkin excitement this week. So yes, come back tomorrow to see how that second Impkin voted for by you turned out in Mantha's hands. But until then, guys, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye guys, love you loads.